that yesterday afternoon we carried out our very first drive on Mars. Go ahead and show that first picture, please. Here we're looking out the front of the rover, and you can see our first tracks on Mars, and this was just so amazing to see last night, and uh, uh, we're really happy about this. What you're seeing in this simulation is it's actually a representation of the telemetry we got back of what the arm did on Mars, of all the different motions of the arm. We call this the, the no-load checkout. It unstows and places the whole arm in a vertical orientation, and then it does a test wiggle of, of each joint, and then it restows. So here you're seeing the actual images from the rover that we got back of this activity, which was super cool. I should mention uh, the, the turret has two of our very important science instruments, Sherlock and Pixel, and it also has an engineering camera, uh, Watson. So, yeah, Sherlock and Watson will be doing up-close sleuthing for us on Mars here. So on SOL-12, we deployed the meta wind sensors, which are housed on the mast, and you can see them uh, in testing on Earth on the left. And then on the right is a little animated GIF of uh, on Mars showing each uh, wind, wind sensor successfully deploying. Uh, so that was, that was great to see. You'll see what our first drive actually did yesterday. So uh, our plan, which executed perfectly, uh, was to first drive four meters forward, that's about 13 feet, uh, make a 150 degree turn to the left uh, counterclockwise, and then back up about two and a half meters, about eight feet. And then during that drive, we took a pause to image the touchdown contact patch on the tires. So where the tires uh, made contact, or the wheels, I should say, where the wheels made contact with the ground when we landed. You can see the wheel tracks that we left on Mars. I don't think I've ever been happier to see wheel tracks, and I've seen a lot of them. Um, and this is just a huge milestone for the mission and the mobility team. I am honored and excited to announce that Perseverance's landing site is now called Octavia E. Butler Landing. This image is from the MassCam B camera located on the rover's mast. It shows a flat, light-toned rock on the right side of the image on which we targeted the very first observation from SuperCam, one of the rover's instruments for analyzing the composition of rocks at the surface. And what we can see in this image uh, from the first high-resolution panorama from Mass Cam are distant deposits of the Jezero Delta in the background. The rocks in the foreground may be similar to those in and around the rover's landing site, but I'd like to call attention to the rocks in the, in the mound in the background. This is about a mile and a half away from the rover. From the landing site, which is the white dot there, we're considering two options to get to the Delta, a clockwise path and a counterclockwise traverse that you can see here in blue and purple. 